Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber's Advice Talk Show. I'm the host, Susan McCord. Today's question is, how do I stop hating my ex, who is the father of my children? Now this is a pretty good question, because most of us, when we split up, we're not on the best terms with our ex. Some people are lucky and can actually have a decent relationship. But most of us, there's a little bit of stuff that's left over that we're still dealing with. So this can be a hard thing when you've got kids and you've got to keep seeing your ex or coming over and seeing the kids. How do you deal with this and how do you not totally have to stain for them, especially in front of the kids? So it's all about compromise. You've made the decision to move on, both of you have. So now it's all about the kids. The kids are the priority. So you've got to suck it up a little bit when you're dealing with the children. It doesn't mean you have to talk to each other on the phone all the time. You can have a set plan, a set schedule that's emailed to each other so you don't have to have these long conversations. That will help, number one. Number two, make sure that you have a separation agreement where everything is set out, that you're both happy with it. Get that settled right from the beginning because if you don't have a plan, things go all over the map and then you start to hate each other even more because they're changing up what they're not supposed to be changing. So have something that's set, there's boundaries and you're following a plan that's been devised and don't veer away from it too much that it causes problems for each of you. Respect each other. Just because you're not together anymore doesn't mean that you can't sit there and, and you know have a respectful sort of place for them in your life because it's really important that the kids see that you're not always angry. Because this can happen when you hate your ex. I mean, come on, let's face it. Who wants to spend time around somebody that you've spent years with that you finally decided you can't be around anymore? But when you have children, it's a different story. So now the kids have got a set schedule, they go. If there's soccer games or, or school events, you gotta go and you just gotta be there together. You can't be sitting there talking bad about each other to the kids. There's no room for dissing the other person because they love you both exactly the same. And you gotta remember that. As hard as it is, take your ego out of it. Your ego has no place when it comes to your children. So anything that comes up where it's like a, you know, a, you know, Maybe even when they're older and there's a wedding and you've got to attend the wedding. Don't not go to things because you can't stand to be around them. You're missing out on so much and it's also hurtful to the kids because they've got to choose. They've got to pick sides and that's not fair to them either. They need you. They need both of you. So bite it for a little while. Things will improve. I promise you. I've been there. It does get better. But don't make it worse for your ex by being a goof about something and bringing people into the kids lives or doing something that's really off kilter that makes the kids question what's going on. Just stick to the routine. Kids need that. They need that environment that is consistent. So you've already kind of uprooted the, the family dynamics. So don't make it worse by not being able to stand being around your ex. Make it work so that you can still give the kids as much love and attention as you can without having a lot of anger attached to it. You don't want your kids growing up and picking people due to what they saw growing up. So be kind to each other. Fake it if you have to. It will get better. I promise. Thanks everyone for listening to Dear Cyber Sue. Please subscribe. Leave your comments below the video and like the video. Thanks everyone. Thank you.